um, and the guy that was singing, his name is Michael W. Smith, he started by saying, don't worry, I've cut my set short, like you'll all be home for kickoff. <laughs> um, so we, this guy, we go into this concert, everyone's paid this money, cut short, we went home to watch South Africa, England in the final, and then I fell asleep through the whole, <laughs> through the whole thing, which was also in Paris. Rugby World Cup, obviously, is what we're going to talk about. But your memories of Rugby World Cups, obviously, family connections with, you know, previous World Cups. But in terms of all that, or your kind of memories or enjoyment of Rugby World Cup, yeah. what would jump out from a childhood? Yeah, it's, a, it's, uh, it's funny because someone asked me this the other day, and I was like, my prop, my first proper memory is probably the 2000 World Cup final because South Africa went. My dad had taken mm. us to a concert. Mm -hmm. um, and the guy that was singing, his name is Michael W. Smith. He started by saying, "Don't worry, I've cut my set short. Like you'll all be home for kickoff." <laughs> um, so we, this guy, we go into this concert. Everyone's paid this money. Cut short. We went home to watch South Africa England in the final, and then I fell asleep through the whole <laughs> through the whole thing, which was also in Paris. Um, yeah. You know, so I think that's my first proper memory. Uh -huh. um, my dad obviously talks about, you know, he was at the, uh -huh. the 95 one that was in South Africa. Your father, just for context, yeah. was a bodyguard to Nelson Mandela. To Nelson mm -hmm. Mandela, yeah, not at the World Cup, though. It's a 95 World Cup. So he, he wasn't? He worked with the, with the All Blacks. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, so he always talks about the fact that South Africa obviously won the World Cup, but uh -huh. he was on the All Blacks bench, so he couldn't <laughs> celebrate. He said he was doing his best <laughs> to sort of, um, yeah, not, let, not show any smiles or anything, but... And oh, he'll be so experience. proud of you playing in the World Cup now. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's a massive thing for me, uh -huh. you, know, you know, my family and, um, you know, what they've put into me. And I always tell people, you know, the biggest point of pride in my career is the fact that my dad's, you know, he's followed me everywhere. I've mm -hmm. been all over South Africa. I've been to, you know, I've been lucky enough to go to Vancouver with the Sevens. And, mm -hmm. you know, he's popped up at all these places. And, you know, it's amazing how often, you know, when I play for Scotland, there seems to be a business meeting for him in the UK <laughs> at the, around the same time. Works There'll be so one well. in the south of France in a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So he's, he'll be travelling over? <laughs> yeah, he'll be tra So Dad's coming over. He's bought tickets for South Africa, Scotland. Um, and then Mom's a teacher and her school holidays fall um, over the Tonga Romania week. So the whole family is coming oh, out good. and my wife's family are coming out for, for the Tonga Romania week. So we'll have everyone there. And your wife is expecting, you are yeah. both expecting, aren't you? Congratulations yeah. on that. I tell you what, you don't have to pack a lot into your year this <laughs> year, Kyle. No, yeah. A few landmarks, eh? Yeah, <laughs> geez, like, no, it's been amazing. Um, we're so excited. You know, there's, there's, um, there's definitely something in the water at Glasgow at the moment, for sure. I think there's about <laughs> eight or nine boys um, whose wives are expecting. Um, HR getting a bit nervous about <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the way that's all going to yeah. work out next year. Um, but yeah, and it, even here, yeah, you know, there's guys that have had kids recently, you know, like um, Charis and, and Finn. And um, yeah, you know, when you tell guys like that, that you're expecting, you know, all they can talk about is how excited they are for you. And, you know, so... Um, when you hear their experiences and how they're finding it, um, you know, you kind of, you sway between being really excited and really <laughs> nervous, but um, yeah, it's something we're looking forward to. And to be able to have this journey again with, with your, your mates, as we're saying, to be able to have that opportunity, if you think about, you know, for, for most of us, if you're having those celebratory conversations, you're, you're also not really living together. So if you, you know, having that solidarity must be really nice too. Yeah, it is. Um, it is. It definitely is. Um, yeah, there's, there's a huge girl dad crew growing here. So excited to be part of it.